is Mike with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about a simple year of food. Inexpensive, um, easy to do, the easiest way and the least expensive way um, that I've come to find in my area to get a year's worth of food for one person. Um, maybe different in different areas. If you have access to like, you know, if you buy field corn or if you live in the Midwest and you can buy, you know, bulk grain, like bulk wheat, bulk wheat and stuff like that from farmers, it may be different. Your costs may be different. Or if you're in areas where things cost more, obviously um, you're going to spend more. So what is the simplest way to get a year of food storage? Beans and rice. And yes, it would suck eating just beans and rice all year. This is, and this is just the costs for the beans and the rice. Obviously you need spices, obviously you need lots of other things. This is just to give you a ballpark picture of how cheap you can get a year's of food, year of food. And this is a good way to set up, I got my notes here, uh, this is a good way to set up if you have a year of this, of beans and rice for everybody in your family, that's a great baseline. Then build from there. Um, and yeah, I'm not saying go buy it all at once. You may want to do like a month at a time, you know, a month of this and then build up other stuff and build until you get to the year. Or use this as like your, your um, um, basically your building blocks. This is your foundation, your year of food, and then build from there. So anyway, enough said about all that, beans and rice. So what I was looking at, running the numbers, and these are all the numbers. So this is my simple year of food. Beans and rice in bulk, talking like 25 pound bags, 50 pound bags. For my example, I'm going to use 25 pound bags um, because they're more prevalent. You can find them more, uh, more readily available, in my area at least. So rice has 502 calories, and this is just ballpark, it may be off a little bit. You know, these are just numbers I found online. Uh, rice is 502 calories per pound, per, per pound. It's talking about white rice. Beans, pinto beans. 1,588 calories per pound. So combine that, a pound of each would be 2,090 calories. To me, that's not an adequate number of calories per person per day. So I would go, generally speaking, I would personally go two times that, but for the sake of this, we're gonna go one and a half times. So that is one and a half pounds of each per day. One and a half pounds of beans, one and a half pounds of rice which equals 3,135 calories. Okay, so you take that one and a half pounds times 365 days a year equals 547 pounds of each per year. So 547 pounds of rice, 547 pounds of beans per year. So you divide that by 25 to be to how many, how many bags, 25 pound bags. So you get 22 bags of each for a total of 44 bags. 22 of rice, 22 of beans. Um, so with my numbers, around where I am, I'm getting rice, 25 pound bags of rice for about $9. Actually, it's usually a little bit less, eight something. So I'll just throw it there for $9. So 22 bags of rice at $9 is $200. 20, or beans, 25 pound bag of beans, I'm paying about 14 something. So I'll just say 15. So 22 bags of beans at $15 is $330. 44 total bags for a year of food, beans and rice, is about $530. That's a pretty darn good deal. $530 for a year of food. Think about it. I bet a lot of your guys' monthly grocery bills are more than $530. You can eat for a year on $530. I'm not saying you would enjoy it. I'm not saying you'd be super healthy. I'm not saying you'd meet all of your, uh, you know, nutrient needs, but it would keep you alive. A lot of, a lot of civilizations have lived off of rice and beans, uh, another one being potatoes. Um, so, and like I said, this is a starting point. It's a bare bones basic. If you want to just do this, set it aside and say, we got a year's of food. Okay, now let's grow off of that. Let's get spices. Let's get canned meats. Let's get canned fruits, vegetables, um, dehydrated stuff. Uh, you know, all the things that we've talked about before. I just wanted to cover a bare bones, basic, simple year of food it's to show you that it's attainable. Over time, you save for it by a little bit at a time. Like I said, $9 and $15. So for $24, say 25 bucks, every once in a while, you can get a bag of a 25 pound bag of beans, 25 pound bag of rice. That's pretty decent. So, 
I am encouraging you guys to please do this. Food, stacking food aside is still my number one thing. Uh, we got because we got to eat. Along with that water, yes. And this does take a lot of water. So be mindful of that. And also stockpile that. Um, but water comes from your tap. And you can fill barrels. You can fill whatever you have um, with it. And keep adding to it on a regular basis. Also find other um, sources of water. But this isn't really about that. It's about simple year of food. I hope this gives you guys some, you know, some encouragement if you don't have a year's worth of food um, already to know that it is in, fairly inexpensive. You don't have to spend three, four thousand dollars on the big mountain house or wise company um, freeze-dried number 10 cans of food to get a year's worth of, supply of food. And their year's worth of food is probably not even close to that 3,135 calories per day. That's probably closer to two, if not less calories per day, and you're spending three or four thousand dollars for it. This is a much better way to do it, to get your basic, bare bones basic food storage set up. So prep a little every day, saving for doing stuff like this. Um, and, and fitness, work on your fitness. Exercise is important. Being fit is very important. Everything's going to be more physical when things go south, when things get bad. So I love you guys and blessings to you and yours.